Friday, uh, April 20th, Sunday, 2014, about 5 p.m. before closing, this dog is brought out so that he can pee. He had better stone earlier on, and uh, this morning he had peed easily and had no problem. So we bring him out twice a day. This is day one after surgery, and uh, let's see, there's some blood. There's some blood there, it's from the operation, but he can pee easily. Uh, we have to. This shows that the bladder is still uh, infected and uh, it's very important to bring the dog out twice a day because this dog always pee outside, he doesn't pee indoors. Uh, so this, this uh, second time outing shows that he has no problem peeing. His main complaint was before the surgery was no urine came out and now as you can see that uh, he did drink water and uh, maybe he has a pee uh, pass motion as well yeah so it's important for post-op care to to bring the dog out twice a day if the dog stays at home now he has to be caged because there's a stitches there uh, you can't allow him to run run here and there otherwise he will be a uh, stitch breakdown the muscles are stitched up the skin is stitched up and the bladder is stitched up so now we have to make sure that he has rest so now you can see that he did drink water and pee a bit. The bladder is okay, and there is blood in his uh, stool. So, uh, blood in the urine. Sunday, 20th of April 2014, about 30 hours after surgery to remove seven small stones in the bladder. The dog is very active and okay. Now there's some soft stools. Uh, that, that could be part of his uh, sickness. He, he was very ill before the surgery due to a bacteremia and blood. A lot of bacteria inside his, his uh, blood system. With total white cell count high and neutrophils high. Now after he's out, then we will bring him back and let him rest. And tomorrow morning do the same thing, let him out to pee. And uh, he eats well and drinks well.